Hello you beautiful audience. This is Reddit Stories. And today's topic is 9 Wholesome Stories Part 95 1. When I was 11, I got lost on a hiking trail and found myself deep into the woods, and ended up in another state, trail was right on the border. Going up the trail, I took my shoes off and gave them to my grandma since there were a bunch of puddles and didn't want to try to avoid them, so I was barefoot the whole time, which was kinda good in a weird way, since I had to cross a very small river to continue going on the path. An hour after I got lost, I found a small path that went through a swamp, and had ladders as bridges. The path led to a small community of houses, and little me decided to knock on the door of one. The man who answered was maybe in his early to mid-twenties, and when I explained what happened he went to wake up his girlfriend. They were both really nice, and offered me a pair of shoes to borrow, and were 100% ready to walk me back to the trail the way I came. I, being the very tired child I was, asked if they could just drive me to the entrance of the trail. They agreed, and we started driving towards the trail when we were stopped by a police cruiser, asking if I was the girl who got lost. I'm still really grateful for their help to this day, and for whatever reason they read this, I made it home safely and soundly. 2. Forgot my shoes at a hotel in Whistler, and as I live in Denmark it was pretty impractical. I went to the Whistler subreddit to see if anybody would pick them up and ship them to me. The first five or so people offered to go and pick them up. The guy who picked them up shipped them to me, even including a poster of Whistler. Still have the shoes and the poster. 3. My pops was driving my wife and I to the airport to catch a flight overseas. As always when it comes to driving anywhere with my old man, we were running very late. About a mile or two away from the airport we catch a flat tire that immediately deflates the entire tire. We try switching to the spare tire in the trunk but it is also flat. A stranger passes us, pulls over, reverses in a dangerous area on the side of the road, and picks my wife and I up. This dude rushes us to the airport, drops us off, goes back, picks up my dad and the flat, drives him to the nearest gas station to get it plugged and filled, then drops him off back at the car. He adamantly refused to take a single dollar. All of this occurred sometime before 5 a.m. 4. My friend and I were traveling to Spain from France and ended up in Toulouse without anywhere to stay. We ended up talking to this local girl who was on the train and she let us stay with her. She showed us around town and cooked us spaghetti, we were vegan at the time. Somehow we fit the three of us in her bed and fell asleep watching the new Game of Thrones episode, The Mountain and the Viper. 5. I was in a bad financial place, my dog needed medication for an injury and I couldn't afford it. A stranger overheard the workers having the conversation and offered to pay for the medication. It was around $250, at the time was a huge help and am still so grateful to this day. 6. My sister and I were driving to school one morning, and it was pouring down hard. Our visibility was atrocious, and we had just agreed to stop and wait it out for a bit when our little Mazda got t-boned by a jeep hard. We were both okay physically, but super shaken, being two teenagers who'd never been in an accident before. We hopped out to start getting insurance info and were soaked in seconds. It was like walking into a shower, and that just made us more miserable. Fortunately, there had been a cop at the intersection where we'd been hit, so we didn't have to wait long for that. But as we were standing in the rain, shivering and getting insurance information, a guy driving by leans out and hands his umbrella to me before driving away without a word. It wasn't much, but almost eight years later, I still remember it clearly. It was such a small but kind gesture, and for two panicking teenage girls, it was what kept us from losing our minds completely. The umbrella is still in our garage as a reminder to do good for others. 7. I finished work late one night and walked to the bus stop to get what I believed was the last bus home. 
It was midnight and I was alone. The bus appeared in the distance, but as it pulled up I saw it was out of service. The driver opened the door and said not to worry, there was one more bus behind him about 10 minutes away. I thanked him and waited. After 20 minutes I gave up and started walking, when in the distance a bus appeared. As it got closer I saw that this also was out of service, so I resigned myself to a long late walk home and started off. As I was walking away the bus beeped at me. I stopped and turned, and the bus stopped and opened its doors. Inside was the same guy as before, it was the same bus. He'd driven off, realized there in fact wasn't another bus behind him, got worried for me, and turned around and come back around to pick me up. He drove me home and let me off basically at my street, not on his route, and didn't want any money either. Sometimes the kindness of strangers is really surprising, I've told this story for years since it happened and it never fails to bring a smile to my face. 8. Waiting in a long drive through for lunch during a particularly stressful workday and the woman in front of me paid for my meal to be nice. That's all. No other reason. I paid it forward and it felt really good, so every once in a while I just pay for the person behind me. You never know whose day it'll brighten. 9. When I was 13, my cousin and I decided to go watch a movie at the mall, we had in money for the tickets and some change, so we had to walk to the mall, it wasn't that far away, however it was a really hot day and when we arrived I was so thirsty that we decided to buy a water bottle, the cheapest item to buy, but we didn't have enough for it, so I took my chance and asked the man in front of me if he had any spare change so that I could buy water and he actually gave me enough to buy one. The man was in a date and I think this influenced what happened later, as my cousin and I waited in line, the man call us both and we hesitantly went to see what he needed, he tend proceeds to ask us what type of flavor would we like our drinks to be and I was just shocked, to be honest. This kind man was so generous that he paid two big drinks for me and my cousin and popcorn. It is definitely an experience I hold dear to my heart and I hope someday to give the same kind of experience to someone else. This marks the end of the video. If you like my videos, consider subscribing to stay updated with new content. See you until next time.